Hello everyone, this is your collective reading for the weekend of the 26th of July. So you may find that you resonate with all of these cards. It is my intention that they will resonate with as many of you as possible. Um, or you can pick your card, one, two, three, four or five. And you can tune in and see that that is your specific message. So please tune in now if you're going to do that. I'm going to draw five cards. I'm just shuffling now. And let's see what the universe has in store for us. So card one is emotional withdrawal. So this card is about feeling tired, feeling depleted. Have you had a lot of people and a lot of energy pulling on your your energy a lot of situations a lot of um i feel like it's it's mainly people for a lot of us it's work as well and i also get work and family balance coming up a lot for a lot of us too it's not mean to look after yourself i feel is the message that we need to hear that self-care is really really important because when you invest in self-care you show up differently for the people around you as well as for yourself and it raises your vibration which means that you can attract more good stuff and less of the negative stuff that none of us do want in our lives so this card is saying it's time to withdraw it's time for you to cave out and look after yourself so if you've got a really busy weekend coming up maybe have a look and see what you can sidestep graciously what you can maybe dial down a little bit and look for pockets of time that you can have for yourself where you can replenish yourself, get yourself out in nature, make sure that you are eating properly, hydrated and take a rest when you need to. So that's card one. Card two, heart chakra. So this card comes out in a reading usually when our heart is a bit closed. And often that happens because we've been through trauma. So in my experience of doing energy work and reading for people, when we go through a traumatic time, our heart centre can shut down either altogether or a little bit. And that's usually defensive because we feel overwhelmed, especially if you're an empath and we are feeling so much that there's an aspect of us that just shuts that down. It's not a conscious thing. It's just something that happens. What does happen, however, when that occurs is that we can end up trapping in the frequencies of trauma or grief or whatever the the heart rendering negative emotion is when i say negative because they're not really negative they're all part of a spectrum and part of being human but you can trap those frequencies in so it's sometimes important to work on opening your heart and sending energy to your heart and just taking a few minutes of of breathing gratitude is immensely powerful at opening your heart you can drop your head and you can breathe into your heart chakra as well if you wish to but be gentle with yourself as well because if this has happened it's because you've been through a difficult time okay card three oh transformation so if you pick card three this is the death card in a rider weight deck and it's a very lucky card it's all about aspects of you or old ways or all parts of your life or experience dying and moving away. It's about new beginnings and it's about allowing the process. So not being scared and hanging on to stuff that's expired or stuff that's starting to drift in your life. Allowing that to happen and knowing that sometimes the opposite of law of attraction happens whereby if you're not in alignment stuff is moved out of your way and so are people sometimes and that is okay and allow the new stuff to come in so a great time of rebirth of starting new things of starting new projects relationships new opportunities so look out for them so number four stand your ground has someone been pushing you around are they violating your boundaries do you feel like perhaps um, someone's goading you or perhaps um, picking at something all of the time? This is about you being in your power. And a lot of us shy away from this because we feel that being in our power might mean that we have to be hostile or aggressive. It doesn't at all. Being in your power can simply be you having good boundaries and maintaining them. So boundaries, remember, are little fences made of love. And they assist the other people in the equation as much as they assist you because you're teaching them how you want to be treated. And sometimes having good boundaries in a relationship can actually save a relationship or can really help a relationship to heal. 
So stand your ground, find out what you want and be in your power. I think for a lot of us as well, this is going to be about um, other people taking from us and not being in fair exchange, whether it's time, energy, money. It's okay for you to put the brakes on that. In fact, it's going to help them as much as it's going to help you, although they won't realise it in the short term, in the long run, it'll become obvious. And the last card, card number five, foundation and achievements. So this card can be about moving house or it can be changing something about your home. It can be about renovating. It can be about buying land as well. It's divinely timed and it's a happy thing. So if you've got an inkling that you want to move house or that you want to change things up, then this is a good time to have a look. Um, if you haven't and something comes on your radar, stay open, do a gut check on it and then take the action that you need to. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Please help me back by leaving a comment, a like and even a subscribe would be amazing. And I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.